first of all, thank you for coming and welcome to Epiphany Night 2014. We are very, very excited to have all of you here, and we're very excited that it did not snow tonight, so we could actually have a show. <laughs> so we have a delightful performance for you tonight. Um, we've had some of our um, Epiphany members have worked very, very hard today um, to put together a murder mystery dinner theater for you. In fact, you may recognize some of them sitting amongst you. If you noticed any of your peers acting strange, that is because they are transformed tonight. So they will not respond to their names as you knew them. So don't be surprised if they don't respond to Dave or Stephanie, <laughs> etc. Um, I'd like to start with um, a, a prayer, if we can, before we get this started. Thank you, God, for this beautiful day and for all the gifts that you have given us, including the gift of talent. Thank you for this food and bless it to our bodies. Bless the hands that prepared it. Bless the variety show acts. Bless the actors that have prepared a fun experience for everyone. And I ask that you help us all to enjoy the show and go home safe. Amen. Amen. Well, without further ado, I announce to you Murder, Mayhem, and Marshmallow Salad. Pastor? Ah! My stars! What on earth was that? Relax, everyone. That was just a keyboard. These new ones are so realistic. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Reverend Pastor Peter Piper Porcupine of Pleasant Valley Pious Church in Pleasant Valley, Pennsylvania, and we have a keyboard of those exact capabilities, namely the production of sounds for use in worship. And I would love to give you all a seminar on the use of dramatic sounds in worship. Have you seen my card? There you are. There'll be cheese for you all around if you can duplicate that sound. Yeah, let's see you do that again. Oh! Oh! There's been an accident? An explosion, perhaps? Maybe a rodent sighting in the nursery? Worse! Look at this! Elaine, please. <laughs> it's a crime, isn't it? How the majestic trees of this world have been murdered for our own convenience. If we all join together now, today, not to use more recycled paper, then... No, 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 we're we all must not get excited. The good Lord says, I, well... I'm a pastor who believes in saving the environment. I believe parishioners should join together for such a cause. Have I mentioned that I'm currently without a church home in which to save the trees? <laughs> How many trees went into these cars? Yeah. What terrible thing has befallen us, humble folk? I think I see my point. Oh, you, you have one. I said, I think I shall swoon. <laughs> Is there uh, maybe a problem with the circuits in the kitchen or possibly an oven that won't ignite properly? Let me check this out. <sighs> Listen, everyone, this is an emergency. No, I don't care. Where is Mrs. Yoder? Is she even here tonight? Did she or did she not sign up to bring green marshmallow salad? Yes, indeed, she did sign up to bring green marshmallow salad. But instead of green marshmallow salad, to be 120 people, she only brought enough to serve 12. How are we possibly supposed to host a dinner without green marshmallow salad? We have always had green marshmallows, and ever since this church started 90 years ago. So, Pastor you, what do you intend to do? Well, I, uh, I, uh... Oh, yes, please help us. Without marshmallow salad, I might just die. Will you just watch it MT, or you just might? Pastor Pew, what do you intend to do? Well, I believe Jesus put it best when he said, uh, or was it the Apostle Paul that once was told him? Oh, don't blame 
think, everyone. Just stay calm. Just as I thought. You'll take care of the situation, all right, just as you take care of every situation by shaking in your boots. <laughs> Yvonne doesn't even own any boots, <laughs> except them special catalog order of boots. But he knows better than to wear them any time before Thanksgiving. That would be a real fashion faux pas. Oh, what do you have in that thing? Iron weights? You could hurt someone with that thing. Well, I'm terribly sorry. I just keep the things in here. A girl can't leave with her home without, like, you know, like a compact, and I, I have my my current edition of my Glamour magazine and my exfoliator. I'll take that. What, what was that? Uh, looked like a plane ticket. And I have my hand lotion, and I have, what else I have in here? Oh, a girl can't be too careful these days. Hey, that's so fast, Pastor Hill. What do you have to do about this situation? Well, I mean, that is to say. Now, Yvonne, dear, you should have worn a light shade of blue. Like, if you're going to stutter and stammer up there, a light shade of blue would have gone well with your chattering teeth. I can tell you, a public speaker who can't speak in public indeed. Princess, uh, uh, please, people, please, please, please allow me to pacify this predicament. I, I'm prominent in my community in Pennsylvania for being a peacemaker, and I pride myself in my ability to find compromise in situations such as these. Oh, I'm sorry, can I spit on you? I do not let that interfere with your good opinion of me, especially when it comes to leading a congregation of needy souls such as yourself. Have you seen my card? <laughs> Perhaps, in the interest of harmony, simple dietary variation, we could forego the marshmallow salad just this once. You're a visitor! What do you know? Visitor? I've been a member here for three years! We dare invite folly and disaster with one word by saying, Give me marshmallow salad or give me death. <laughs> well, with that message of doom and foreboding, let's begin this shindig, marshmallow salad or not. Unbelievable, people! Oh, don't take anything seriously. Okay, <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, my name is M.T. Socket, and uh, I am head trustee here. Um, yes, M.T. Socket. And uh, I, I have to let you know that uh, due to certain local health and happiness codes that are just too confusing to mention, that the restrooms are located in the rear for your convenience. And... Um, we, uh, we would like to thank you for joining us in celebrating uh, 90 years of sharing a Christ love with our community. Yeah, and now, uh, before we begin our meal, uh, a few words from uh, Pastor Keel.
gentlemen, if you haven't found a seat yet, please uh, do so, and uh, let's begin uh, eating. Enjoy.